Hello guys, El Bandito here, long time no see. I am here to do a quick test run on my cello kit, hopefully test. Uh, the reason I'm doing this, you shall see, is because one guy posted in Total War forum saying that you can give the hoplites um, a uh, phalanx formation as opposed to spearman formation that they have currently. As you can see, I just turned on the phalanx formation and they are now assuming phalanx formation. Like this. And well, let's see how they move forward. Ah, that's pretty impressive. Uh, they're moving in unison and, well, acting just like how a phalanx should act. And they can also even break into a run. And while they're breaking into a run, they will still keep their phalanx formation. And, well, how did I do this? As well, I followed that guy's advice and uh, used pack file manager to open up the Rome 2's data pack. And then, simply uh, changed um, uh, my uh, hoplite stance from shield wall to pike phalanx formation. I just changed that and instead of using shield wall and fighting as a regular spearman hoplites now can act as you can see more like phalanx pike phalanx actually to keep their formation let's see if how effective is that in combat how well authentic it will look i suppose all right okay they make contact and as you can see they are pretty much uh, keeping their formation and there are five shield bearers against one silver shield swordsman which is shown here and uh, four thorax swordsmen as you can see they're not breaking oh oh pretty smart for an ai he is not flanking okay however as you can see when you give uh, hoplites pike formation uh, it does sometimes make them freeze up in their tracks. It's a known issue of Rome 2 that the pikemen sometimes just stop listening to orders. But as you can see, oh look, just they're holding formation perfectly and well, just keeping the formation. Let me just turn off formation attack and see if anything happens. Mm, no? Huh. Well, let's just see the combat and see if this pike formation doesn't bug out the hoplites or what. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, nice kill. Alright, so far, so good. At least the hoplites, they are definitely killing. And uh, the new stance, uh, pikemen as opposed to spearmen, is not really affecting them. Alright. Yep, just steady, keeping formation, acting like how pretty much a pikeman should, I mean a phalanx should. However, if I turn off the phalanx formation, as you can see, they are immediately spreading out and surrounding the enemy. They're breaking formation, acting like regular spearmen again, not uh, like a phalanx at all. So, okay. So that's the difference. Now, as you can see, these uh, silicid units, even banners, they look a little different than vanilla. The reason is that is because I downloaded another uh, silicid skin mod and it's pretty nice. It gives them much more distinct look and of course uh, I download a bunch of other mods. And the reason I'm doing that is because actually I'm going to do another let's play and this time I'm going to play as the Seleucid Empire. Now I know there are a lot of uh, other let's plays featuring the Seleucids but this one is going to be a bit different. Just how different? Well you'll just have to wait and see. For now let's continue the test and as you can see the pike formation when applied to hoplites does make the formation very rigid 
and it takes a while for them to turn around and such but it does uh, make them more uh, what you call having uh, their uh, unique uh, what do you call uh, very rigid formation so you can actually feel their uh, you know acting in unison acting like a true phalanx instead of just a mob of spearmen so I'm not sure if I really prefer this one over you know regular spearman type formation but I think I'm going to keep this in my campaign just to see uh, how much of an effect it has aesthetically it does look really nice you know all of them marching in unison and quite intimidating I'd say anyway uh, just finished my test run and well I'll see you guys later I guess